If you want to increase your efficiency when out on site, then a quick itch is essential. Now in this video, we're gonna go through the different varieties of quick itch that are available on the market and what is best for you. Now there are many different quick itches on the market and each serve the same purpose, and that is to make you more efficient when interchanging your buckets or attachments on your machine. Essentially, they give you the option of removing the manual lumping of the hammer to remove the pins and give you a quick and safe solution to interchanging your buckets and attachments. There are eight different varieties which we have split into three sections. The spring manual, the manual alternatives, and the hydraulic couplings. With the spring type titches, this is a generic term for the hitch, which means that there is an internal spring that assists the locking and the unlocking of the coupler. There are a couple of different spring type manual hitches which we'll cover, but we'll first start off the standard manual spring hitch. The manual quick coupler is a fully manual hitch. This means that the operator has to physically insert a bar into the latch to both release and lock the coupling and then physically securing it with the essential safety pin to ensure that it cannot come undone. Due to the manual pressure required to physically open and close the latch from the operator, these are typically only used in excavators up to three to three and a half tonne. It is the ideal hitch if you're looking for something that is cost effective at the lower end of the market and typically come in around 600 pounds. Now these hitches are widely available on the market with each individual manufacturer having some sort of variation to the spring type standard manual hitch. The main downside of the spring type manual hitch is that it requires the operator to get external of the cab to release the current bucket or attachment, and then again to reattach the next bucket or attachment. This could be quite a laborious task if you're constantly changing and exchanging between various buckets or attachments, but it's still an incredibly amount quicker and more efficient than the laborious task of physically hamming home the pins and is a relatively cost-effective solution. And then we have the Autolock manual quick itch. The Autolock quick itch is typically used on machines up to three to three and a half tonne. Now this works in a similar way to the standard manual spring hitch, except that it works off a pressure sensitive finger. Now this is activated by the operator, again, getting outside of the cab, but the difference is that he only has to do it once. He inserts the lever into the latch, pulls it to the side, and this activates the pressure sensitive finger, locking the latch in place. This is then activated once the operator picks up the bucket or attachment, which then touches the pressure sensitive finger and locks your attachment in place. That means you do not need to get out of the cab a second time. The features of the autolock coupling far outweigh that of the spring type manual hitch, although typically this still comes in around 600 pounds. So if you have a small excavator and looking for a hitch that is at the lower end of the market, but are focused on health and safety and want to reduce your operator's impact on getting out of the cab, then the Autolite Quick Hitch is for you. So now we move on to the manual hitch alternatives. Now there are a few hitches on the market that do not have a internal spring, but they still require you to operate them manually. The Ratchet Quick Itch is a unique type of Quick Itch and not that common, I have to say, in the market. Now, as the name suggests, it requires a ratchet to physically lock and release this coupling. On the very front of the coupling is where the ratchet operation is located. Now, this allows you to crank both the front and back lock. As you crank this to the right, this ratchets the lock into place and locks the attachment onto your coupling. And again, to release, simply undo the ratchet to the left hand and this will release your attachment. An advantage of this coupling using the ratchet operation is that it holds your bucket or attachment superbly tight. However, if not operated carefully or properly maintained, there is the possibility over time that the bolt becomes rounded or even damaged, which prevents you locking and unlocking the hitch. There is also the potential, if not looked after correctly, that the ratchet can become lost, which prevents you from detaching your bucket or attachment. The main manufacturer for this quick hitch on the market currently is Harfords with their Prolock quick hitch. This operates from machines from 0.75 all the way up to nine tonne. So then we have the tallest quick hitches. The tallest quick hitch is a dedicated hanger coupler or quick hitch, which removes the need for any external tools such as the ratchet or the lever bar. This hitch still requires a manual operation to remove the bucket or attachment from 
the quick hitch. The operator must first remove this integrated safety pin and then open the integrated side handle to release the quick hitch from the dedicated hangers. There are two main downfalls for this hitch. One, that it requires a dedicated hanger pickup, so specific buckets to suit this hitch. And two, you cannot return or reface the buckets in the opposite direction. It is a fixed position hitch. Again, because it is a dedicated hanger pickup, this can make it more difficult for you finding the buckets from a relative manufacturer for your machine. This manual quick hitch, again, is designed for the smaller end of the market and excavators, so from 0.75 up to 8 tonne, and is currently manufactured by Harfords on their safe lock hitch. One excellent advantage of this quick hitch is, if you're like me, forever losing tools, there is no need for external tools. Everything you need is integrated on the coupling itself. So then we move on to the half hitch. The half hitch, is a single pin design manufactured without any moving parts. To connect an attachment onto the half hitch, the operator has to manually pick up the front of the attachment pin at the front hook of the attachment on the half hitch, curl the bucket in or attachment in, and then manually insert the pin through the back to secure it to the coupling. Now with there being no manual or moving parts to this coupling, it is relatively inexpensive to produce. This means that currently on the market it is coming in around 200 pounds. It's the perfect quick hitch for you if you're on a tight budget or even want to have a stepping stone to take you to that quick hitch. I really wanna try it out and see if it works for you. Although the initial price might seem appealing to you, you are still having to manually drive in the back pin, which can over time result in damage and wear and tear to the hitch and the bucket. The half hitch is becoming less and less popular in the industry with the developments on the new spring type hitches and the auto lock hitches. And then we have the hydraulic quick couplers. Now this is really the premium and allows you to exchange the buckets and attachments from the comfort of your cab. All the operator has to do is flick a switch generally located on your dashboard, which locks and unlocks your coupling or buckets. The hydraulic coupler is one of the most popular and user-friendly quick couplers on the market right now. The internal hitch spring is controlled by the levers in the cab, which controls the movement of the latches through the hydraulic lines on your excavator. Two of the biggest benefits of the hydraulic coupler to you. One, from a health and safety point of view, you're able to operate from the comfort of your cab, being able to release and reattach your buckets or attachments. Two, this makes it far more efficient for you. You're not having to constantly get in and out of the cab to change or exchange your pins and buckets and attachments, which means for you, for your site and your team, you're more efficient and more time proactively working. Another advantage to you of the hydraulic quick coupler is that the fact of the traveling latch allows you to pick up on a bigger variety of bucket dimensions. Now I'd always advise checking with your manufacturer or bucket supplier that firstly, this is possible. For plant hire companies, this is excellent because if you have a multiple pin pickup, buckets on your fleet potentially can still be picked up with the same hitch. The main physical downside of the hydraulic quick coupler is the knowledge that is required to install in the first place. Generally, this isn't a problem when you're working with a dealer on a new machine, but this can become an issue if you're retrofitting it to an existing machine. The reason they are more difficult to fit is because they require it to be piped in and the electrics to be wired in to fully operate the hitch from the cab. However, there are many technicians and services within the wider market which can assist you with fitting your hydraulic hitch. So don't rule it out simply based on this. Really the benefits of the hydraulic quick coupler for you are endless. Now with the hydraulic quick couplers, there is an exception to the rule. These are available from 0.75 all the way up to much larger 45 tonne machines. And as you can appreciate, these hydraulic quick couplers are not cheap. Typically, they are three to four times the price of that of a standard manual hitch, but they are widely available on the market from various manufacturers. So for example, on a four to five tonne excavator, these range from around 1500 pounds, including a fitting kit. And then we have the tilting quick coupler. Now this is essentially really the same as the standard hydraulic quick coupler, where you can still operate it from inside the cab. So manually release and reattach your buckets and attachments from the comfort of your cab. But it also gives the ability and the flexibility to tilt your bucket or attachment 90 degrees in either direction. This type of hitch is really most benefit to you as a landscaper or a house builder, or even a road construction company, where you are dealing with those challenging tasks such as shaping the camber of a road, or even on golf courses, shaping out the bunkers, or even 
dealing with those difficult manhole covers, which you want to get the right angles on, as well as the ability to tilt that bucket or attachment 90 degrees to get in tight to grade against those pre-built walls. If you need this extra degree of flexibility to be able to put your bucket or attachment into those difficult places, then this is an extra step up on the standard hydraulic quick coupler for you. The main downfall of this attachment is the reduction in breakout force. Now the breakout force is the force that is transferred through from the engine, through the cab, down the arm, into your bucket or attachment, and then into the ground. Due to the increased height of the hitch to allow for the tilting mechanism, this means that there is a reduction of force transferred through from the excavator into the ground. And this means that your machine is effectively having to work harder to produce the same results as a standard hydraulic quick coupler. Although not as popular in the marketplace as a standard hydraulic coupler, this still can be found with regular manufacturers such as Geith, Hill or Miller. This is usually available for machines from 1.5 tonne up to 25 tonne, with prices averaging around £4,000 per attachment. So if you know that this tilting function will be of significant benefit to you and you can justify the additional cost over that of the standard coupling, then go for it. But if you cannot justify the cost and the simple hydraulic coupler would work for you, then this may be the better option for your machines. And then we have the rotating tilt quick couplers. Now this is becoming increasingly common in the marketplace. The rotating tilting quick hitch or the tilt rotates as they're commonly called is really giving landscapers and house builders the edge. Again it does what it says on the can. It can tilt and rotate which allows you to give the machine that extra effect when it comes to getting into those difficult or narrow areas or hard to achieve jobs at hand. The tilt rotator allows you to connect and disconnect your buckets and attachments again from the comfort of your cab and at any angle. The flex flexibility that it gives you allows you to rotate your bucket or attachment 360 degrees or even onto a 45 degree angle, giving you the best options to complete those difficult tasks. The tilt rotator is a perfect tool when it comes to increasing your productivity and efficiency on site. It allows you to complete those difficult tasks with ease, giving you the edge and allowing your excavator to essentially become a multi-tool. The most popular manufacturers at the moment on the market is Rototilt, Engcon and steel rest. You would likely have seen these already out of the market or on the building sites near to you and are popular in being fitted and paired up with the Scandinavian style buckets, typically on the S30, 40, 50 and 60 type couplers. There's really no limits to what this tool can do for you. It really turns your excavator into a multi-tool, allowing it to pick up a variety of different attachments, whether it be your standard buckets, whether it be a land rake, it could even be concrete pouring buckets or even pallet forks, all of above which are available at Rhinox. Now really, the main and one and only drawback is the cost. Now these things will set you back from around 22,000 pounds for a 10 ton machine. Now, if you can justify this cost, then go for it. It really gives you endless benefits in terms of the flexibility of your machine and increasing productivity and efficiency. These generally are suitable from 10 ton all the way up to 33 ton machines. So there you have it, all eight types of quick itch on the market. Now it really depends down to the size of your budget and your application and the size of your machines. If your budget is smaller and you're looking for something in and around the standard spring type or the auto lock or even the quick attach couplings, then that might be the best option for you. But if you're really serious and have got some serious projects on that require you the flexibility to be able to operate from your cab, or even give you extended flexibility of being able to tilt those buckets and rotate those buckets, then something like the standard hydraulic quick hitch or the tilting quick hitch or even the tilt rotators may be better for you. If you would like any further information on any of the range that Rhinox offers, then don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. And don't forget to flick through our playlist too. And as you can imagine, these hydraulic quick cut, please. These hydraulic quick chip, quick, quick chips is a dedicated.